You'll now hear some of the vocabulary words for chapters 13 through 16 of Fever 1793. In chapter 13, Maddie talks of starting a fire, and the way she would have done that would be by using a flint and tinder. And what a flint was, was basically a hard stone, and the way that she would start the fire would be to strike the flint um, onto tinder, which is basically just some dried grass, and then the hope would be that the spark would come off of the flint and it would catch the tinder on fire. The only word from chapter 14 would be a scabbard, and all a scabbard was was a holder for a sword. So grandfather would take his sword and he would place it inside the scabbard, and usually the scabbard would be a sheath made of leather during those times. In case you don't know who this is, uh, this is Yoda. We have three words for chapter 15. The first word is famished, and famished is a bold way of saying the word hungry. So if you were famished, you probably hadn't eaten in many days. Um, another word is jaundiced, and that basically means that um, the skin is discolored and looks yellow. And again, that has to do with um, the bile in the liver that would make somebody's skin or eyes appear yellow, like when they had yellow fever. Impudence just means offensive or bold behavior, and obviously in 1793, what was considered impudent might be very different than what would be considered impudent today. For the last chapter, chapter 16, we have a glazier, and all a glazier did was, was a person who installed or fit windows into a building. Placid is an adjective that basically describes something as being calm or peaceful. So I have here a picture of a, a calm, peaceful lake. So you want to think about the peace sign when you think of placid. The dowry we kind of talked about in class, and basically it would have been money or gift that the wife brings to the husband at marriage. So back then it could have also been a business or a building or something like that. And then finally, um, Maddie is worried that she could turn into a scullery maid, um, but she doesn't want to become a scullery maid. And the reason why is because a scullery maid was a low-ranked servant, and basically uh, what the scullery maid would do would be to work in and clean the kitchen.